Oh hey, HGTV, it's Lindsay from Unsellable Houses. Welcome to my country cottage. Come on in. So this is our kitchen. And I've been here for about 18 months, my family and I, um, and we love it. It's peaceful out here, it's quiet, it's got a little bit of that Northwest, you know, a lot of that earthy, and I've mixed in some eclectic as well. Honestly, I don't spend a lot of time in here. I'm not a fan of cooking. Um, you know, I've got my three or four go-to meals. So when we got this place, it looked nothing like this. There was actually a bank of cabinets here and a huge peninsula here. The, talk about a galley kitchen. The galley kitchen, it was, I mean, tiny. I could barely rotate in here. So adding an island was a huge difference for us. Even though I don't spend a lot of time in here, I needed some space. I'm a huge baker. That's the one thing I do do. I bake a lot of cookies, pies, desserts, things like that. So I needed a space to work for rolling out doughs. And that's why I added the island. I love my sink. Um, I need a big, you know, open sink to be able to really add all those dirty dishes and um, give me some time for them to pile up before I do them, to be honest. And then I added some fun lighting in here. You know, I like to mix a bunch of different styles. I always tell my clients the same thing that I live by. Surround yourself with things you love. So I mix a little bit of, you know, modern. I love the earthy vibe. And then I also have a lot of like eclectic pieces throughout. My backsplash was definitely a piece that I picked out because I felt like it added a little bit of that earthy touch. You know, it's got a little bit of that stone vibe to it, but it still reflects light. Um, and then we always have woods and plants and things like that surrounding us. I guess I'll leave my coffee here for the rest of the tour. But I will tell you, my coffee order is half-calf Americano with a little bit of honey and oat milk. Let's check out the living room. So the living room is just connected to our kitchen. This is really where we do all of our living, honestly, between the kitchen and this space. We don't have a TV in here. Uh, the entertainment in, in here is each other and the beautiful view we have from the windows. So we sit in here, we talk, we eat in here, we don't have a dining room table. Most of the time I'm sitting on the floor with my food on my lap and we're just talking and looking out the window and enjoying each other. This is our view. We've got 10 acres here, we see deer, we've got a little buddy named Gus, he's a black bear that comes and visits often onto our property. We are huge music lovers. Uh, this is maybe a eighth of my husband's collection. He's probably got 2,000 records. Um, so he kind of filters them out and brings them into the house as he's got a taste for that music at the time. He's got boxes and boxes and boxes of them out in the garage. I'm not allowed to touch the station. I have to ask permission. And my love in this house that he can't touch are my plants, my plant babies. This one is Regina. I name a few of them. Regina, she can be a pain. So that's why she got that name. But every Sunday we've got a ritual. We take baths, not together, but I give them baths. I water them, I trim them, um, talk to them, and they're all nice and happy right now, and they make me happy. Oh, and also totally forgot about this. It's an old fireplace we did not want to take out. It's the uh, chimney. I had to keep it in the house and really style around it. I'm a huge fan of working with what you've got. Speaking of what I love, welcome to my closet. Here it is, my wardrobe. I don't know what to say. I've got a problem, I'm aware. My shoe spinner, just so I can, you know, keep all my shoes up and I know where everything is. Here's my favorite shoes. How cute are those? I love these shoes because they've got a little bit of sass to them. Don't they feel sassy? And I'm a little sassy, so I don't know. They just kind of fit. So obviously, how do I keep everything straight where I know where things are? I color coordinate. These are my long sweaters, my dresses, you know, so that I know where those are. My blacks, my browns, my greens, a lot of cream and white. I wear a lot of cream and white. But because it's summer, it's already hanging up, guys. 
I love this dress. Miles, are you home? Yeah. Oh, come here, babe. This is Miles, my son. Hi, baby. Hi. How are you? Can you read? Good. I'm giving a tour of our house. Oh, nice. And a tour of the closet. Cool. What do you think of the closet? It's really big. You have way too many clothes. Really? Yes, most definitely. But you're proud of your mom for being fashionable, right? Yeah, you always you always look good. Right? Yeah. I mean, I could be one of those moms that just wears sweats and sweatshirts all the time. Well, when you go out of the house, you don't. At home, that's all you wear. <gasps> just your jammies. You just ratted me out. Not cool, kid. Not cool. Oh, no. Get out. Not cool. Mom, I'm Miles. I'm Lindsay's son. I'm gonna show you guys the shop. This is the shop where we work on stuff and keep our toys. These are some of our toys, our dirt bikes. Start it up. Um, this is kind of my everyday. Riding around the house and this is what I do for fun. All right, so our guest bathroom, this is it. I did put a little bit of um, effort into this because I think it's important to have a cute half bath when your guests come over. It didn't look like this when we bought it. This was all the way through. Imagine three times the size of this. Way too big for a half bath. So I stole a little bit of that room to create this, my main bathroom. It's like a wet room. So I've got my rain head, I've got my shower, I've got my tub. One of the favorite things I did when I remodeled this room is I put all my controls on this wall so I don't have to go in and get wet when I turn on the water. That was one of the smartest things I did. Added some more modern lights because I wanted to give a little bit more of that modern touch in here. It is a bathroom, um, but then also filled it with plants because, you know, let's be consistent people. I love plants. Main bedroom, not huge. We got a bed, little seating area. Um, oh, this is cute. This is my husband and I. Right after I had Miles, we were high school sweethearts. We met in seventh grade, and I got married at just at when I had just turned 20. So we've been married almost 22 years now. Yeah, we were babies. So this is our back deck, kind of front deck, I don't know, it's all the same. Hey, here's Remo. He is the sweetest dog. Here you go, okay. Um, he doesn't know a ton of tricks, but one of the ones he knows. Okay, here, look. Wait, wait, wait. We'll just set him there, wait, and I'll tell you about my back deck. So we sit out here, We one thing that we love about this is we've got an obnoxious amount of hummingbird feeders, but it's because we get so many hummingbirds and my husband and I are kind of dorks and we sit here super quiet and we watch them all come up and eat and feed and I don't know, it's just really peaceful and amazing and we absolutely love it. So we spend a lot of time out here, a lot of time out here. It's one of our favorite places. Okay, good boy. Um, Remo is kind of the protector of the property. You can see he's very fierce. Uh, yeah. So do you guys want to check out the yard and the gardens? I'm kind of excited to show you. Let's go. So in the Pacific Northwest, it's a, a lot of beautiful things grow in this area. I love to enhance what's already here. I mean, ferns are wild here. So putting those into the garden and really building around those, this is something that I love doing. And the Pacific Northwest already has so much beautiful greenery around here with the trees, the evergreens, and the alders and everything else. I mean, we totally enjoy that stuff. Come on, let's go show them our garden shed. This is our garden shed, come on. I love our garden shed. I spend a lot of time out here because I love gardening. Um, I kind of took this over when we got here. It was just a storage shed, and I said, nope, this is gonna become my garden shed. So 
I'm outside all the time uh, planting, usually not in this wardrobe. I'm in garden attire, but um, yeah, I took it over. Here's all my tools. Uh, I've got all my pots out here, my little potting station. It's my soil. And um, yeah, we're out here working all the time. When we moved in, this was a giant storage unit. They just had tons of stuff in here, a storage shed. And I just saw it as an opportunity to make my own special little garden shed. And I just find it peaceful. It's quiet, I can hear the birds, you know. Speaking of noises, Leslie's here. Hey. Hi. What you doing? Just came to see ya. Cool. Pick you up for work today. Thought it would be nice if we drove together. All right. What are you looking for? Oh, my emergency brake. Oh, it's probably a good idea. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm giving a home tour, so welcome. Well, that's nice. Yeah. And now we've got Ginger and the whole collection here. Here's the whole collection of our V-dubs. If you're doing a home tour, I feel like it's only appropriate I introduce Ginger. I think you should. Because <laughs> Ginger's the only one I like to drive. Um, mainly because she's an automatic and she's nowhere near as moody as these three. That was rude. Wow, it's true. Um, it's very rare to find an automatic mm -hmm. uh, passenger van like this. And so we found one and we've held on to it. Probably the longest. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because we tend to buy them and kind of fix them up, flip them. But this one's been around for a while, a, a long time. And then we've got Fran. Fran was actually my very first car I ever bought myself, saved up my money in high school. And you were 16. Yeah, I remember driving it to high school. We thought we were so cool. We had a box of scarves. We'd leave in the back seat, and every morning we would pick out a scarf, Tie put it on our, our head, head so that it wouldn't blow our ponytail, and then we would take down the top I and still we would have a ride. Scarf. You do? Oh, yeah, she does. She still has a scarf in there. This is for when I drive it. I and still then have we my would scarf. ride to school with the top down all year long, winter, summer, didn't matter. Yep. And we would play um, Madonna, Madonna mainly. Madonna mainly, yep. yeah. And then we'd also like mix in some like Fiji or uh, Fuji's, we'd mix yep. in like, you know, Lauren Hill. Yep. We thought we were pretty cool. Yeah, we did. Yeah. So then I was sitting in the passenger seat and Justin was sitting in the driver's seat when he asked me to marry him when we were 19 years old. So this is Justin, my man. I've been with him 22 years, and he's really the one that helps keep all this uh, property, Volkswagens, everything in shape. So always something to do. Always something. Love you. Bye. Bye. Then we've got Penelope. And Penelope is our kid's favorite. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, because it's lowered, it's got the faster engine, it's a 69. Um, and the boys, our older boys, um, ask to drive it all the time to go on dates with mm -hmm. their girlfriends. This one I'd say I probably drive the majority, the majority of the time. Yeah. There's nothing cooler than cruising around in a V-dub on a beautiful Pacific Northwest day. True. But you know what, Lens? I came to pick you up for work. You've done your house tour. You've done the V-dub tour. We gotta go. It's true. Thanks for coming, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. Can you jump start it? Yeah. Okay, go. Shut the door. I gotta jump in though. Okay. 